हेलो 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 कनेक्शन 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 मिस्टर साई यू आर लकी योर कनेक्शन इज गुड हां ओके कैन यू हियर मी मिस्टर साई यस ओके ओह कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लम्स दैट मेड मी रियली एंग्री यू नो कनेक्शन मेक्स मी रियली एंग्री yeah where are you right now i am at school <laughs> oh oh at the yeah. uh, nyakana too yes nyakana and connection is not that good at this site because they told me they have only one only one wifi oh that's one but the place connection. is really, really big though really cool yes place is good better nice facility but wifi is you can't Gosh. say my fine is like i would give like only one star or something out of five <laughs> one star out of five yeah yeah one star out of five okay right hope this time is getting better hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's get better i guess <clears throat> did this yeah Come on, Isam. Go away now, Isam. I mean, if I come here, no one is going to use it. No. 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 Okay, Jason, welcome back. Sorry for this morning. Jason, welcome back. Welcome back. We will wait for Jason. Last week, or uh, have you guys done the homework I asked you to do last week? It it was about it was about central part, I guess. Central part. Is that correct? uh if i'm not correct i think it was about hurricanes hurricane wait let me check yes. that i i can be wrong also okay wait up in the last day in united states oh, yeah so the homework i give you all passage 4 it was the hurricane including the table it just that table so we i ask you guys to complete them as a homework i remember now So let me confirm with your friends as well. Please wait for a while. Looks like Meitu is having a problem with her connection. Okay, Jason is with us, and then we need Gazin. We need Gazin. Hurricane. Last decade, the United States has seen some of its largest and most. Okay, yes, that's correct. We have been completed all of them. Some of the questions I asked you guys to complete it at home as a homework. Yes, got it. So we have to start from exercise three or question three or eight. Question three or eight. Four choices. Chain or chain. No chain. It's the largest and the most costly, costly storms, and we have checked that already. I know. I remember now. Okay. Connection problem. Connection problem. So, sign looks like 
I heard your parents or someone came and grabbed the book. Is that true? Wait, really? School told me that. Three, really? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how about Jason? Is that true? Hello, Jason, are you there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so is that true that your parents or someone came and took the books from school? Is that correct? No? Actually, I didn't quite catch that. Yeah, can you repeat that again, please? No, no, I mean, school told me, okay, SAT students, parents, or I don't know who came in, okay, took the books for, for you guys on behalf of you and Hello, hello, hello. I, I need to... Okay, so can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah. Who, who died right now? Okay, good. This is good. Let me check in also. I'm checking the connection. I'm confirming. Let me check in. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. And also... Also, and stable. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. make two is having a connection problem. And then, how about your friends to me? Yeah, she is also like, uh, uh, she <laughs> also <laughs> she's also having a connection problem. Uh, yeah, oh my god, okay. Anyway, so let's confirm there. Let's check the homework last week I gave you. So we have to check from, could you please tell me the question's number? Question's number, please. 308. 308, yes. So let me, uh, I don't think I need to explain that much, but let's check that. For 308, so for me, Meitu, okay, Jason, but Jason is probably coming soon. So 308, so let's talk about that. 308. Okay, so, so please, we have a four choices all together. Let's get started, everybody. Okay, please tell me this is sign. So what's your pick? I chose B. Okay, thank you. So if you, Okay, uh, Jason and Tami Meitu, if you chose B, and could you please hands up? Correct. Thank you very much. So 308, yes. So it's largest in the most like costly storms is correct. How about 309? We're checking the homework together right now. Meitu, 
Yes, now Gaysian is okay. The new Gaysian, we are checking the homework that I gave you last week. 308, you guys need to take part B. It's largest and the most costly stones is the correct answer for me. I don't know what, what you pick. Could you please tell me? Is that correct for you too, Gaysian? Yes. Thank you very much. So now let's move on to 309. It's a set to improve. Okay, the flow and organization of the passage. This sentence should be placed. So which sentence should be placed? Three or nine, let's talk about that. Where it is now or as the first sentence of paragraph two or as the last sentence of paragraph two or deleted completely. If you chose B, thumbs up, please. If you chose B, thumbs up. B is the correct answer for that. To improve the flow and organization of the passage, and yes. Okay. Thank you. How about 310, everyone? No change or winter cyclone that are not, or look at the common problems here. Winter cyclone with Chenar and a winter cyclone are not. Change, no change. Talk to me, 310, everybody. You need to choose C. Does anyone choose C? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes. 310, winter cyclones, after that you need to put comma, and the clause come here, which are not. 310 goes to C. Wonderful. And then how about the 311, everybody? The author is considering deleting the underlying sentence. Should it be deleted or not? So one thing to understand is you have to choose like yes or no. So in here, Look at that. Now, A, twice A said no, because it states an important fact about the storm. B said yes, because it doesn't state which storm the facts are far as to. And C said yes, because it does not directly relate to any other expression given in the paragraph. So in 311, the author is considering deleting this one. So should it be deleted or not? What's your idea? 311, everybody. Yes. You need to choose also C in that case. If you chose C, thumbs up, please. 311. Okay. How about 312? Which choice provides the most concise version of sentence number nine? Okay, the concise, all right, look at 312. What you pick, everybody? No change or a full moon during the storm or in New York. A full moon resulted in record storm. Okay, surge of like 13.88 feet during high ride. You need to choose C. If you chose C, thumbs up, please. C goes, also goes to, okay, yeah. So at 312 goes to C2. And then please look at 313 this time. Four choices gain, change, no change, blah, blah, blah. So no change, twice we said has been diverse stadium, just like the, the, the storm that hit Sidwe in Arakai State. Diverse stadium, or what is it? It's a diverse stadium, has been diverse stadium. I want you to notice the grammar pattern. Will diverse stadium, past continuous, and then it's diverse stadium, present continuous. So what's your choice for that? There must be part C2, will diverse stadium. If you chose, World diversity, please, thumbs up. This is the 313. 313 goes to past continuous. Oh, only two students left. How about 314, everybody? Please look at Which option offers the most clear and the concise? Introduction to paragraph number four, paragraph four. So we have a four choices again. Mr. Sai, tell me what's your choice. I chose D. Yes. So let me just say, if you also chose D, that's correct. Which option offers the most clear? The aftermath of a super storm can be just yes. As diverse taken as the storm is all. This is the best one. 314 goes to D. How about 315? Okay. Demolish and leak paint. Demolish, comma, and leak paint. Look at the comma. And then demolish and 
gamma and akama. Two are totally impossible. You need to choose C for 315. If you chose C, please thumbs up. 315 answer goes to C. Because we need conjunction C that we need gamma. Got it? Because D is totally impossible. This time is 316. The other, yes. The author is considering deleting the underlying sentence or replacing it with one of the following choices. Which of the following choices would improve the par okay, paragraph's effectiveness? So choice A, B, C, D. We are talking about 316, let me do. 316. The author is considering deleting the underlying sentence or replacing it with one of the following choices. And which of the following choices would improve the paragraph's effectiveness? You can't choose no change one, okay? So B, C, D, let's talk about that. Students sometimes can confuse between B and D. B says that delete the sentence. Choice D is that whether or not global warming is causing climate change is a subject of debate. Mostly students get confused. Difference between B and D. You need to choose B. You have to delete this. Okay, if you chose delete, please thumbs up, 317. Okay, moving on to 317. Okay, 317, important parts is coming right top. 317, you don't need to change anything. No change, everyone. If you chose no change, thumbs up. If you chose no change, thumbs up. Good. So why don't we interpret? Let's do the interpretation in the graph, everybody. Look at that. How to interpret that graph? Here we have a hurricane, different name, you know. Hurricane Ama or Harvey or Sandy or Matthew or Maria. Look at that, 2011 and 2017. 2011, two hurricanes, it occurred. And in 2012, 2016 and 2017. Okay, look at that on the vertical line. The very first row, wind gas, rainfall, storm surge, delta tool, and cost to United States, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's talk about this. So, hurricane in 2011, what happened? Look at the number. Hurricane Harvey, look at these, 64 billion. Oh my God, it cost just 64 billion. But in 2011, second one, the Harvey, it cost like 108 billion, oh my God. And then in 2012, Storm Sandy, it cost like 70.2 billion. And just 10 billion and 45 billion. Check this out. So what does question actually ask you to? What does question actually ask you to? Here is the question for all of you. So, all of the following statements are supported by the graph. Is that supported by the graph itself? So in that case, you need to read all the choices. Choice A, B, C, D. When you are reading choice A, B, C, D, you also need to go back and check the graph. Okay, choice A, you can look at choice A says. Okay, all right. All of the following statements are supported by the graph except it says like that. So let's talk about this. Come on. Hurricane can be deadly and catastrophe event. Is that one? Is that one? Or the death toll from the storm cannot be okay, attributed to the single factor. Or higher rainfall, okay, total results in larger storm surge or the cost of catastrophic storm in the United States in 2011 was more than 150 billion. So let's talk about a little bit. All of the following statements are supported by the graph, except, sorry. Tell me your choice, everyone. I chose C. I chose C. Okay. How about the name? What's C. the choice? 
Okay, C. Okay, next one. Sami? C. Got it. Looks like everyone is okay with that. How about the mean Metu? Okay. C, C, C. Got it. Connection, connection. Connection is the main problem for all of us. Right. So let's go back to. Let me screenshot again. So now. How about 319, everybody? Which of the following statement from paragraph two is not supported, it says that. Not supported, everyone. Look at, read them all, all the choices, 319. Hurricane Harvey had over, okay, 100 billion in damage due to 51 inches of rain, or Hurricane Matthew had the highest depth. So, Supported, not supported. You have to check that not supported part. Okay, not supported. So what is the choice, Mr. Sai? I chose D. Okay, how about the mean? I chose if D. You, if you chose D, thumbs up. Okay, got it. That's a wonderful. Thank you. So how about who doesn't chose, who didn't pick D? Let me gaze in. You chose different answer, I guess. Oh, but probably she's lagging on connection problem. That's really bad. Anyway, yes, answer choice D is correct. So here we are. Let's work together, passage five. Passage five. Let's work together. Directly jump into 320. Massachusetts, you see comma and threatening the security. Okay. All right. 321. They okay, handcuff him. All right. Let's take care of kind of thing like that in Yemen. We call. So check it. Question is from the 320. What does question ask you to do? Let's go. Which of the following is the best choice to properly punctuate? It's testing your punctuation skill. Properly punctuate the underlying words. So we will go back and look at that. Check this. Massachusetts Walmart threatening the security guard with arrest. They Okay, handcuffing. Which one is, you see there, comma, and in here, no change, or Massachusetts comma threatened, Massachusetts comma and threatened, Massachusetts full stop and threatening, 320 plus. Let's talk about that. What do you think is the best? What do you think is the best? Read around this. On the night of March 18, 1990, two men dressed as police officer and demanded entry to the Isabella Stewart Gallery Museum in Boston, okay, Massachusetts, threatening the security guards with arrest, blah, blah, blah. So look at the punctuation around here. The first and second, is it complete? It made complete sentence? Twenty, Mr. Sai, which one will be the best? No change, or Massachusetts comma threatened, or Massachusetts comma and threatened, or Massachusetts no threatening blah 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 blah. So should we start a new sentence like this? Part D. So what is your choice? Plus, talk to me. Gaze in, tell me first.
Take time. Sorry about that. So you can just keep going. Three twenty. Well, this is the one in my cross countries in the history. Rewarded in each one. Okay. Reward. They handcuffed him. And make off with thirty words. Okay. 
Got you. Okay, class, take your time, please.
Are you guys almost there? If you guys are ready, please thumbs up. If you guys, oh yeah, your friend has got connection problem. She has a connection problem. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. today is today is good day or bad day huh hope you guys are ready Sai, are you ready boy no yet let me gaze in and gaze in are you guys ready it's okay take time please take time Okay, Medu, I feel bad for you today. Your connection is very bad. Please complete all of them to me. Take your time. We are going to check the answer soon, right?
Okay, are you guys ready there? <clears throat> Everyone? Everyone ready? If you are ready, please thumbs up. Okay, Gazing ready. Gazing is ready. Oh, Mr. Sign is also ready. Metu and Jason will wait for them. Okay, Metu is ready. How about Jason? Take time to me, it doesn't matter. Well, which number are you in the meet, Jason? Maybe probably she's lagging or something. Looks like your friend is lagging. <clears throat> Jason, I sent a message. Hope you receive it. Okay. Yeah, connection is connection is our enemy. So now please look at everyone. Start from 320. Which of the following is the best choice to properly punctuate the underlying words? So in here, I have told you. So D is the answer because it can stand. The previous and second sentence, it can stand. It can stand itself. When you look at that. Okay, here's stuff from. On the night of March 18, 1990, two men dressed a police officer Okay, entered entry into the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston, Massachusetts. In Boston, Massachusetts, we need to put full stop. Okay, what do they do? Threatening the security guard with arrest. But in here, 321, they handcuff him is very simple. Very simple. So what do we need to do? According to questions, question says the author thinks this word in my God's Confusion. Okay, police caught all the thing caught like a confusion, and it's considering rewarding it. We need to replace this back. So, which choice should the author make? Three twenty one. What is the choice, of Mr. Sign? D. Okay, Mr. Sign said D. If you agree with Mr. Sign, please thumbs up. Yeah, the thieves handcuff them. But we don't need comma there. Make sure answer choice is actually D. So if we put or if we reward like that, if we change like this, it make it very clear. Okay. It make it very clear. All right. So now please look at all next. Please look at on 322, everyone. Which option best concludes paragraph one? The best conclusion, which option we have, A, B, C, D. A, transition to the paragraph two. So it transits to the paragraph two like smoothly. A, B, C, D. Please look at all the choices, everybody. This museum was the famous art museum built by Isabella Stewart Gardner. So is it the best conclusion or B? These stolen pieces were a small, comma, but significant part of the extensive and priceless collection assembled by Isabella Stewart Garden during the course of art lifetime. Or originally owned by Isabella Stewart Garden, now they were now okay. Or though the collection contained over 250 items, so 2050 items, the ones stolen were favorite of Isabella Stewart Garden. So check this out, everyone. Which one, which would be the best conclusion for it. How many of you chose B? If you chose B, thumbs up. 
Okay, this is the correct answer. Only two I have. Only you two. Oh my God. <laughs> Today connection is uh, it's a sign. Should we suicide ourselves? <laughs> Maybe. Oh my God. I'm not comfortable today, you know. I myself not comfortable since the yes. internet problem. So. Let me guess in, are you okay with your connection? You have say all, Jason? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jason is bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today is and a beautiful day. You, seeing you with the internet connection and without the internet connection, the comparison is like very, very much, very different. You know, I myself, I'm not, I'm not with me today. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I understand, yes. The thing is like, oh, since the problem happened, and, oh, that made me actually angry. And I'm not comfortable, yeah. you know, like you, you should play and doing this and you can see it totally different. Yes, but, but it's okay. I, this morning I saw you all the black, you know, you guys are black. And I, I don't know whether you can hear me or not. And I think like keep asking questions and uh oh. Yeah. <sighs> You don't see my smile today. Sorry about that. Yeah, but, but it's okay. <laughs> Not every day can be a sunshine, you know? Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> you are the one. Okay. Thank you. So, the main Meitu, we are talking about, sorry for connection, your connection and my connection to that. We are talking about our question 322, the main. The best conclusion answer try goes to be. Hope you get correct for that. So, 222. And after 222, we will move on to next question. We'll move on to next questions. Look at 223 at the top. So there is a no change or look at the grammar pattern. All right, begins or has begun or began. You have to think about this. Two, sorry, 323. Where is it? Look at the at the top. Right. During these troubles, okay? Yes, this is the introductory phrase and we have to book on it, correct. It's a better, look at that, begun to seriously purchase art. So 323, look at that pattern. Okay, what we have is here, we have the four choices, no change. Begins is not possible because it is not a simple present day. Okay, has begun is also not possible. Okay, B U G A N or B, sorry, B E G U N or B E G A N. That must be the simple past. So you guys need to choose choice D. If you chose choice D, thumbs up for question 323. It's give you 100% marks, you know. Good. Let's move on to 324. Same thing here, punctuation testing. Column, semicolon, and a full stop. No change or Treasures, okay, semicolon, com, and treasure, comma, and, and treasures, full stop, okay, and. So you can look at number letter D. It doesn't make sense at all. So cross already. So we have the three choices, but no change or no, we have to go back to that questions. Okay, look at that. Please, you need to read this. Eventually, okay. It became obvious that other homeworks overflowing with their treasures and the dream of creating. So there, there is a one area. If you are thinking of like semicolon, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, semicolon. Okay, you can't choose semicolon. So that must be, what we need is, you need to show that, you need to take a pop in there. You need to take a break in there. Therefore, we need comma. We need comma. If you chose, if you put comma there, if you chose there, try C, thumbs up, please. Right? Easy. Just give you marks. And more, 325. Again, so choice of the vocabulary come here. Is that no change or motivated or convinced and enable. So the meanings are not the same. Make sure you understand for that. 
So 325. Could you please look at here, 325. The death of her husband in 1898. Put it to bed to make the dream of a museum a reality. Is this right word to use like put? No. You use this type of word in the street. When you're in the street, you know, it's a street talk. Okay, street talk, no. You can't use like put, therefore no change is not possible. Okay. Someone, blah, blah, blah. Therefore, you try your best and you pass. Okay, with the flying color, example like this. So in here, is it convinces right word, enable right word, or motivate? You need to choose B. Motivated. If you chose motivated, hands up. But push is like in the street, we talk about that. Okay. That event push me to blah, blah, blah. No, motivate me. Okay. If you chose motivated, thumbs up. Sign. You chose. I chose A, right? Vince. You chose A, right? Uh, I chose C, convince. Oh, convince. So you need to read that sentence again. The word itself used in the sentence is like pooch. Okay, thank you. Her husband, you know, passed away. The death of her husband in 1897 convinced her to make the reality, the museum reality. So no, convince, we can't use in this area convince. You can't use that. Okay, in this, that's supposed to be motivation. That motivate her too, okay. The cool of man. Okay, you know, motivation. But the tricky is like convince is actually so tricky. Okay. Without husband, people underestimate. Okay, but that convince us, okay, I'm a woman, I've got two eyes and two hands. Why can I make it? So it can also convince, but according to the whole sense, ladies and gents, motivate is the best choice for it. Convince. Okay, moving on to next. Four choices again. Here we are. The author is considering Revising the final sentence of paragraph three. Paragraph three, writers thinking of like revising. Which of the following option would be the best choice? We have got A, B, C, D. Okay, no change. Or oh, upon her death, upon her death, and upon her death. Here we are, the beginning, they're all of the same. Introductory, upon her death in 1924. It's a balance well, okay, bequeathed one billion for the continuation of her museum, which means she will receive. Okay, upon her death in 1924, it's a balance well, okay, for the continuation of the museum with the condition that nothing, with the condition that nothing would be moved and no new work. Okay, would be added. So in here for choice C, no new work added. No new work would be added. This cause prevented, okay, caretakers from replacing the famous stolen artwork. So choice A and B, okay. When the theory says never choose the longest one, I told you, remember about that. So if you chose B, Probably you will choose B because of this. But what we are thinking is the authors considering revising the final sentence of paragraph three. Which of the following option would be the best choice? How many of you chose B? If you chose B, hands up. Because it's a short one. No one? How many of you chose C? Yes. Conclusion. In here, D said it's a two sentence system. That's supposed to be C. C is the best choice, everyone. Wonderful. I love that. Okay, now, 327. So, 
Look at that, no change or H or J C R there or J C R there. It's easy. Who chose D? D must be the answer, everyone. If you chose D, hands up. It's easy. You get marks easily. Ah, okay. Mr. Sai? What's your choice? Uh, yes, okay. I chose that, but yeah, I couldn't find the button. Okay. So here we are. Now, 327. We have no change. Museums, second. Museums, the plural, apostrophe only. And then museum has 328. So let's talk about 328. Chain, no chain. Let's go up. 328. 328 is on your left side on the screen. Look at now. 328. Today. The museum's flourishing pro pro programs, concerts, classes, special exhibits, and blah, 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 blah. So check that out. Which one is wrong? Okay. You don't change it. It makes sense or it doesn't make sense. Ask yourself. And then, of course, is this the one work that you have to change? Museum has flourishing programs. Student can compete with that. Museum has flourishing programs or museum has or it change, doesn't change, or museums. Let's talk about it. What is your choice? Let me make two. Change, no change. Okay, let me change it. Oh. Okay, no change. If you Choose no change, you get correct. We don't need to change. Museums, museums, museum has. No, it doesn't need to change. No change is okay. Two, three, two, eight. How about three, two, nine? We need to put more idea in the sentence. The author is considering adding the following sentence to paragraph five. Paragraph five, thinking of adding one more sentence. Some people believe, okay, the heat works and inside job organized one were not the security guards, but many are convinced it was organized by the mob, mob a group of people. The most logical place would be after sentence one, after sentence two, and after sentence three, or after sentence four. So. I want you to go back again, three, two, nine. Here we are, the last. It's a considering which one will be the best. In the last paragraph, after sentence one, they label here sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, sentence four. So what is your pick? Current museum security director, Anthony Moore, can now watch the original rooms and 65,000 square feet of the museum's recent addition on bank of security monitor, ensuring there will be no repeat of the previous death. Okay. Two, a $5 million reward is still being offered for the safe recovery of the stolen works, but in spite of hundreds of rips from the public and several theories by the FBI, no trace has ever appeared. Staff and visitor life are haunted by the empty frame where the stolen works used to be. Today, museums, exploration program, concerts, classes, special exhibits, and arts, artists in the residence are the main buffers here. Still, Shadow by the unsolved mystery, and a reward of millions waits on claim. So let's go. The author is considering adding the following sentence. This sentence, where should we add this sentence after one or two or three or four? What is the choice? Everyone. 
if you chose number two, hands up. Two is the answer. Yes, two is the answer. Some people believe, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good job. Then let's move on to waste no time. Look at again, 330. It's the LOSC news. Okay. Every new year, go my okay. I made the resolution, me, you know, your determination to live a healthier life. Come on, lose weight. Ah, ha, ha. Do we lose weight and boost my energy levels? Oh, okay, 330 is very easy, everyone. So, 330. Could you please look at the 330? Okay. 330. Now, choose the best one. Da, 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 da. It's so easy. It's a baby job. No changes. You can't lose it or lose it or. Okay, this is all about asking you how you use spell for irregular. Gazing, Anthony Jason, tell me your choice. Number one, it gives you marks. E. B. Lose it. What? No, D. Oh, D, the last one. Okay. So how about Jason? D. Let me Jason. Okay. Metu? D. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sai? D. Letter D. L O L O O S E. Is it about one or about two or about three? Is checking you that way. And so try it's easy for you. So let's get back. Okay. L O S E loose. Right. Every year I make a resolution to live a healthier life. Lose weight, you know, and boost my energy levels. I start to thinking this year, it's going to be the year, see that idea. It sticks on me and life changes. Okay. Gym memberships, comma. May order diets, comma. Spreadsheets with points and calories and measurements. So three, three, one, three, three, two, read this. And Three, three, one, three, three, two. So the author is unhappy with the sentence and considering revising it. So author, it's going to change. So which sentence is the best? Okay, three, three, one. I start off thinking no change is one and I start off thinking that this is the year that I finally changed my life. I started thinking this is going to be the year my life changed because, oh my God, it's like, a, you know, confusing. And at the beginning, I think it was stick for me, but it never does. Come on. Mr. Sai, what do you think is the best for 331? If you revise this, the best one is, what do you think? I think and, it's, um... Okay, look at C, because C is like confusing. It doesn't, okay, it doesn't show effectiveness and also the clarification for that. Jason and Jason, let me tell, tell me. E. Okay, Jason. B. Okay. Yes, guy. B and C. Answer choice is letter B. I start to thinking that this is the new year that I finally changed my life. Now, three, three, two. The author is again considering revising this sentence. Which of the following would most clearly express the author's thought? Clearly express. Read all these choices. Read all these choices. Is it okay, like, in that case, 
No change is impossible. You can ask yourself. Okay, gym memberships may order diet, spreadsheets with points and calories and measurement. Gym memberships, comma, may order diets, comma, spreadsheets with points and calories, and measurements, comma, and I can find anything I enjoy. I'm trying to, okay, multitude of methods, gym membership, may order diets, spreadsheet with points and calories, and then, oh, okay, come. This is also easy. Which of the following would most clearly express all this stuff? Clearly, make it simple, clearly express. Clearly express. So based on that, no change, you can't pick it. It's like a language. But here, four choices for us. No change gone. Which of the following would most clearly express the author's thought? Tricky is here. B, C, they are the same, almost the same. So answer whether one of them or none of them. Pro tip said one of them or none of them. So if it's a none of them, answer must be D. But according to this, which of the following would most clearly express the author's thought? Clearly express the author's thoughts must be D. If you agree with me, thumbs up. I've tried a multitude of methods. I've tried many, many methods, such as like gym membership, blah, 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 blah. That make the sentence clear. So you need to choose, in that case, you need to choose D, everybody. I've tried multitude of methods. So nobody, okay, like that. Obama, gym memberships, may order diet, spreadsheet with points, and calories and measurements. This is the best the best of the best. It can give the reader clear. So three, three, two, successfully done. So three, three, three. No change. You can look at choices, wage, and then look at ED, wage or waging. Three, three, three. Let's go and look at this. Here we are. Repeated failure wage mean that with no solution inside. No change or do we have to change this? Wage only present tense or past tense or wage. Do you notice the spelling? All right, sign, which one would be better? The best choice. Um, I think it's no change. Okay, but Jason, Gazing, do you notice this? I mean, uh, me too also, you need to notice that. Repeated failure wage. Look at the C spelling W E I G H T E D. Wage that comma, no such a thing. Waging and wage, but here it doesn't need to change yet. With no solution inside, that's wonderful. So, how about look at this? This time is the preposition. Off, it says that. Driven by millennial, my friend is new, con sorry, consumer perspective of shopping. For a product or a brand based on how it assigned, sorry, aligned with personal value. So three, three, four, you see OF of the preposition. So is it right one or wrong one? No change, O and O, about or I and E. Preposition is tested. Three, three, four. Chain, no chain, ding, 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 ding. 
sorry, perspective. It's a new consumer perspective. <clears throat> no change, perspective on, perspective about, perspective in. Think about preposition. Please think about preposition. In that case, put all that proposition in the sense as any sense. Perspective of shopping, it's okay. No change, you have to pick. How many of you pick no change? Please thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Now, 335. I want you to look at 335. Don't look at the, the choices first. Look at here. Understanding comma, respecting comma, and valuing the food people put into their bodies. You know, sentence itself is complicated. Thinking about where products come from, how they are produced, comma. So here, literally, there is a mistake. Okay, there is a mistake. For that, when you read, the question itself is not clear. But what does the question ask you? You do need to understand questions. Question says that which option would be the most effective revision of the underlying phrase? No change is possible. It's not possible. Impossible is A, B, A already. So you have to think which changes will be the best. Okay, it, it, would, it would fit grammatically in terms of structure. B. People should understand and respect and value the food they put into their bodies. They should dream about where products come from. So they should think where products come from and how they are produced and distributed and the impact of their choices on their eating habits. Hmm. Okay. We should understand comma respect and value the food we put in our bodies by thinking about where products come from and how they are produced and distributed and the impact those choices have on our eating habits. Oh, that sounds beautiful too. In order to understand, respect, and value the food we put into our mouth, our body, we should think about where products come from and how they are produced and redistributed and the impact of those choices on our eating habits. I love this. Which option will be the most effective revision of the underlying phrase? Three, three, five. Easy. After reading all those choices. Da, da, da. Tammy. Mr. Sai, you are the only gen, so tell me your choice. All right. Um, B. Okay, Jason. E. Okay, let me Jason. E. Okay, Metu. E. Okay, yes, you are. You are like D D D D D D D. All right, letter letter D. Yes. In order to understand, blah 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 blah. This is the best. One. Thank you very much. So I will give you some time. I want you to give some time yourself. Moving on to 336. Okay, don't go to the story yet, but read, look at the choices first. Okay, as usual, no change. Make easier, make and easy, make and easier. Look at the pattern here itself. The pattern here itself. Read them, 336. Only after that, you go to the test, three, three, six. Where are we? Three, three, six at the top. Three, three, six. So you have to read. The grocery industry is being pushed. Okay, being pushed to appeal. 
the customer physically and intelligently, informing and empowering shopper to make it easier, ha ha, comma, healthier, so, okay, and more fun experience. It is, we call the parallel or parallel or illustration. So what is your fit for 336? Let's talk about that. Healthier, isn't it comparative? And more fun experience. So look at make a easier. Do you think, is it right to us? No, easy, A-I-O-U. So A is literally no. So no change, cross this. Okay, so choices we have, the first one is make easier, it makes sense. Okay, but C makes an easy, it doesn't make sense. So A and C gone, B and D left. Think about make easier or make it easier. Tell me, may do first. I chose D. Okay, thank you very much. Sign? Thing D. Okay, so Jason. D. Okay, Jason. B. You chose B? No D. Oh. <laughs> okay. Make easier. Student always confused, but basic English helps you for that. In front of A, we need to use A and N. Another one knowledge you can put is it is we call there a kind of alliteration. Then do something like that. Uh, example, let me give you one example. Uh, your friend come to your house, okay? When your friend comes to your house and you are washing the dishes at the back of your house. Okay, sign, you're also doing this, okay? Your friend asks, your friend meet your mother and then your friend didn't see you and your friend asks your mother, Auntie, where is Coco sign? Hello. <laughs> Auntie, where is Jason? Anti where is Jason or anti where is Medu? Anti Medu or example in Myanmar. And at that time, your mother respond. All the meeting is doing, Medu is doing. That's how your mother respond. All she's in the kitchen. But you don't stop there. Your curiosity, you want to, you, you need more information. So you ask, what's she doing there? What's she doing out there? What's she doing there? Or anti meto and anti koko sayo example anti kezio kezio or the meeting is ya mi bo jang le ma the meeting. Eh? Tu ba lo na e ma. Or the meeting is ya mi bo jang le ma. Se dong jo dong. Se dong and jo dong and we put jo dong. What does that mean jo dong? Se dong is okay. That's a watching the dishes. Say don't it's okay, but Jordan, why do we, we Burmese people put Jordan? Because of the sound. Sound alliteration. A thing, Jamulu. Say don't it's okay, it makes sense, but Jordan, what is Jordan? Jordan like this? Not like that. Say don't Jordan. Say don't it's okay, Jordan is not okay. You see what I mean? Because of the sound, we put Jordo at the back, but it doesn't make sense at all. But in that case, we put like the same thing here. Basic theory says A, I, O, U, you have to put an N. Another word is like make and easier is the sound beautiful. It's smooth. Hope you understand what I mean. If you understand, please thumbs up. If you understand, please thumbs up. So now, and only one understand. Okay, two and three. Your <laughs> eh, me too. I don't see your hand. Okay, thank you. Okay, because yes. Thank you. Connection, Sorry? Because of the connection. Oh, okay, thank you very much. 
So who is to blame? Me or man is to blame. But who did that? Who did that? Me or man. I use me or man. You know, it's okay. I'm safe. So who did that? Man, come on, just me or man. Just join me. Who did that? Man. Is it man? It's lie. Lie. Hey, okay, I'm on. Can we all know? No. <laughs> all right, gotcha. So now we'll continue. We'll continue. Okay, dial in and call on us. Yeah, and it's your all. Come on, yeah. Are you Susie Three, three, seven. Read the choices first. So the choice would be like an empowered middle class or something. No change for in Thailand. B, C, D, G, no change for self, G, Z, M, no change for you input to test for G, M, make or G, M, Z, M, Z, M, Z, M, list and comma data, list semicolon data, list semicolon and data, M, error, P, A, N, E, plan, N, E, Z, M, 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 Z, 7 out of 10 shoppers want to be able to read and understand the ingredients list, comma, the seed out organic, organic food shop, or natural, non GMO, you know, and then GMO labels and locally sourced products to support their communities. Three, three, seven. This comma, is it okay or not? No change, can we pick or not? Think about it. Understand the ing ingredients list. And then we start again with the basic, our organic. So it's a subject, we start with subject. Start with subject, if, after that, if it's start with subject, A and the end is not okay for them. List and they know B is impossible. A is also no possible. No change is not okay because along with it. So you have to think, look at that. To use the semicolon, two semicolon we use. Okay, list semicolon day, we start with subject. List semicolon and day. Have you ever seen D like this? I don't think you have seen. If you want to use semicolon, you don't need A and the end. So you need to choose after this semicolon and we use say The first idea and the second idea, if you want, you can separate it. But you don't want to separate ideas of the same. That's why we use semicolon. This is the grammar semicolon problem. Hope you see what I mean. 337. Three, okay. 338. Three, Please look at the three, three, eight. No change. You see the achieving ing form, leaving ing form, making ing form, all words are not the same. Achieving, leaving, or making. Let's go. Three, three, eight. So in here, getting. I still didn't understand what mindful eating was and how it would benefit me in getting my goals when thus far every other diet and exercise plan had failed. So here we use the ING form getting. So which one will be the best? No change or achievement? or leaving or making. Please think carefully and tell me. You leave it there, no change or achieving or leaving or making. I still didn't understand what mindful eating was and how it would benefit me in. You need to look for the words, they are tricky. Getting similar is achieving. Both are okay in here, but getting 
getting itself is not okay to use. Therefore, don't pick no change, okay? Don't pick no change. So you need to choose B, guys. Not the leaving, not making. Okay, leaving doesn't make sense at all. No change makes sense, okay? But making doesn't make sense. And only two choice left, achieving or no change. You need to choose achieving. You need to choose achieving. Hope you see what I mean. So three, three, eight, done. So another, how many questions left? Okay, three, three, nine, three, forty, and three, forty-one. What the homework for you? We'll check that tomorrow. How to interpret, especially for okay. Look at the graph. That would be a little bit tricky for you, right? Three questions. Okay, please try your best for that. And we'll meet tomorrow. Sorry for today connection problem. I'm also thinking tomorrow. Should I come here? Or should I teach from the house? Or, I don't know. Okay, hope for the best. That's it for today. And does anyone have any questions? I feel bad for connection today. That's is it. Then have a nice day, everyone. You need to relax. Thank you. Okay, relax. Go eat something up. You need okay. energy, I know. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, everyone. See you. Bye. Okay.